Boo chat, how are you? And Faku, what do you what do you mean that this might be a little too strange for you? This is this totally normal game. Nothing nothing weird is happening here. Akuzu, welcome, no content, welcome. Kobold, welcome, Wonder Waffle, welcome, Z Dude, welcome. Pharaoh, welcome. It's it's a normal game chat. What do you what do you mean? There's nothing nothing weird to see here. Hmm, toilet water. Yes, I. Or <laughs> it's an airport run by dogs. What do you expect? Of course, there's going to be toilet water. Hi, culture. Welcome. Hi, hobo. Yeah, exactly. It's premium toilet water. We are we're getting into the fancy stuff, Chad. It's like it's like that smart water. Nothing suspicious. Exactly. There, there is nothing suspicious here, chat. Now, now, don't run away. You guys, you guys can't run away. I have, I have locked the door. You're all trapped here with me, and we're gonna experience this game together. Better than empty boredom of a Monday where literally nobody streams. I mean, yeah, I guess like Sundays, like, uh, well, I mean, sorry, Mondays, it seems like not too many people stream on Mondays. Drinking straight from the bidet like a rich person. Hell yeah. Premium toilet. <laughs> Interesting first phrase words followed by your trapped here with me. <laughs> well, well, Danny boy, I've, I've locked the door. You can't leave. You can't- you can't leave. The door is locked. You're trapped here. <laughs> oh. Pokey, welcome! No escape? Exactly, chat. I'm treating you like the moderators. I'm gonna- chat, I'm gonna lock you all up and you guys can't leave. Alright? You're here forever. Is there a bathroom? Yes, there is a bathroom. Where? Of course there's a bathroom, dude. Where Where do you think I'm getting my toilet water from, huh? No, I'm kidding. That sounds a little gross. <laughs> oh. Fishes, welcome. Hello, how are you? And chat goes silent. <laughs> oh, is it? I never, never thought there would be a day where I'd weird out chat. Chat is processing all of this. It's okay, chat. Take your time. So about those dogs. Yes, we're going to an airport run by dogs that is owned by aliens. As Runa said today, I've been too normal recently. Exactly, I've played, I've only played like normal games lately. I had to, I had to dig out something weird. Oh no, vicious! I'm sorry. Technical interviews sound really stressful, but good luck. I hope it goes well. I'm silent because I'm using your stream to take a nap. That's fine, Pokey. I don't, I don't mind. You guys can lurk all you want. Never, never feel obligated to chat. If you need to, if you need to like rest, come. Press chat, it's okay. Take your time, she says, but what else do we do take our time literally trapped here? Well, I mean, I'm 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 sorry, chat. I didn't I didn't mean to lock the door and lock you in here. I can't I'm I'm sorry. It was an accident, you know, it was it was an accident that I locked the door, you know, but um just just don't leave. You're not allowed to. <laughs> What is the name of this game? Um, an airport um, owned by aliens currently run by dogs, I think. Is Pine taking our time by locking us up? Yandere Rune of Best Riona? Look. Look, chat. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, like, lock your chat up, you know? Gamer Girl Toilet Water. Ah, oh, there, there is the market we're missing. I don't know ooh fafnaf 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 characters as normal. That's totally normal. Who who wouldn't ooh woo at Freddy? She's going to break our knees and make us write a book. Why 
Why would I make you write a book? You think I can read? I don't know how to read. Can I have wa get a water if I'm going to be locked in here? Yes, culture. You can have water. Toilet water. But it's still water. Even the maker thought it was weird. Catch your flight, call it a dog airport game, will you get tired of saying the full title? <laughs> Look, chat, I've, I've heard good things about this game. I know, I know it's a weird one, but I've heard good things. Joke's on you, I'm into being locked up. Okay, never, never, I, I, I unlock the door, I open it, and I'm like, okay, never mind, you're, you're enjoying, enjoying this too much, you, you, you gotta go. <laughs> uh. I tell the people, same about you, weird but pretty good, you know, I will, I will take it. Run for the door chat, I'm only, I'm only letting Pokey out. Anyone who, wind mask, welcome, how are you? I forgot to say hi when you came by. Okay, everyone likes it too much. Ah, shit, chat. Come on. You guys are not- you guys are not supposed to like it when I lock you up. <sighs> that takes all the fun out of it. As soon as you guys start liking it, it's no longer fun for me. We're not out here kink shaming. I- what if- what if kink shaming is my kink, huh? Huh, chat? Ever, ever think about that one? Never. No one ever thinks about that one. Have you met your chat? Yes, I have. I Chat. My brother is afraid of you. Who's your enemy? I don't really have enemies. Can we bring our own handcuffs? Um, if you handcuff yourself, then sure. Night Rider, thank you for the follow. He's right to fear the hive mind. Look, my brother, anytime you guys bring up my brother, he like, I think he he knows secretly and he's just like, oh god, just just lives his life in fear of my chat. Our brother? Oh dear god. Our brother no. <laughs> One moment. Oh, let me let me just screenshot you guys saying our brother, and I'm going to DM it to my brother. Lola, thank you, and thank you for the raids, Lola. Can I have a shout out for Lola, please? Oh God, chat. He's go. He he's gonna be terrified of you guys. Oh, he's offline. Okay. He he's offline, but when whenever he wakes up, he will he will get those screenshots of our brother. <laughs> so he can continue to live his life in fear of you guys. Fresky, welcome. How are you? Are you trying to petrify your own brother? Look, chat. Yeah, I I am your step bro. No, I don't have any step bros. Doing good, how about you? I'm glad you're doing good, Fresky. You seemed like you were tired lately. And yes, I I, I have to torment my brother because I need to get revenge for all the times he tormented us as children. No, we're definitely the weird ones. Yeah, chat. You guys, you guys are the weird ones. I'm I'm the totally normal one here playing my airport dog game. Can't call Riona mommy because she's our sister. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Have you shared the pillow with him yet? I yes, I have I have showed him the pillow. He had questions, but if we keep him afraid, you get to a certain dominance. Look, I, I teabag my brother in video games. That's kinda tired, was it obvious? Uh I think you mentioned being tired. You seem you seemed like you were having a rough time lately. And it's supposed ripping on each other and having fun. I mean, look, chat, I would say, you know, all all those years of my brother brothers making fun of me, it prepared me for Twitch chat. It was it was all a training montage. If you live far enough south, you can't oh my god, Jer Barrington, why? <laughs> Just ban me. I'm not. I'm not gonna ban you. But I, 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 I'm, I'm bonking you with my mind right now. 
You can't feel it, but I'm definitely bonking you with my mind. Oh, this music's kind of like... This one kind of bops. This kind of makes me feel like I'm going to be sneaky. <laughs> I don't make fun of you. I'm the wholesome one of chat. Hmm, I don't know about that. I feel like you guys exist to make fun of me. Kind of jazzy, I like it. I like it too, this is a good song. But I, I feel like I'm about to like sneak up on someone and snap their dick. I don't know, it just gives that vibe. Like you just stink, 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 crunch, you know, kind of like that. I should play a Hitman game at some point. Don't kill- I would not actually snap someone's neck. I'm just saying the music puts me in the mood to snap necks in video games. In video games, for legal reasons, let me specify in video games. You're a nursing major, your job's offset. I would not actually harm a person, chat. It just makes me think of, like, Deus Ex and, like, Stacking all those dead bodies in the apartment, you know? It, it, it brings me back to my childhood. God, one <laughs> I actually have a really funny story. <laughs> when, um, at my clinicals, I was discussing video games with another one of the girls, um, while we were at our nursing clinical, and we were, we were talking about VR, and she was like, she patted, like, she was talking about Resident Evil in VR, and she was like, here was my gun, and here was my knife, and she was, like, patting her, like, leg, and then her, like, arm, and right as she was saying that, our nursing instructor came by, and she gave the funniest fucking look I have ever seen, chat. She looked so fucking concerned. And I, I had to be like, no, 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 no. We're talking about video games right now. We we are not we are not currently carrying weapons here, I promise. But I realize that talking about video games in public is very risky. Because it's so easy to carry on a conversation about video games and not realize how bad it sounds to, like, an outside party. Her two buff arms? Yes, my two very swole arms. Jest. <laughs> Welcome, Jest. How are you? I give zero cares if people get nervous. I mean, but the thing is, it's probably good to specify to your instructor. Yep, I'm sorry, Chad. I can't I can't do anything about the cars. I live I live near a main road. Imagine your coworkers, I had my gun and my knife and I killed that crazy bee that stole my child. Like I said, video games sound fucking weird. I wanna see a fan art with your own arms so swole she walks with them. I mean, there's a there's a fan art of me. It, it it exists. It is a thing. I would dig it up, but that's a lot of work right now. But pick me, Druid. Medic, welcome. How are you? This is this all all this music's kind of jazzy. I like it. Look, I can't, like I said, I can't do anything about the cars that drive by with the loud mufflers. Although I think anyone with loud, I, you know what, chat? Anytime I see someone with like one of those purposely loud mufflers, I'm always like, you jackass. Like every time I'm like, you jackass. Like I think anyone who has a car that is purposely loud is scum of the earth. Like, why? Why do you have to annoy other people? Like, I don't understand. That's a 100% sign of Jack's hat. Right? Right? Oh my god, I remember, like... In some prison, toilet water can be premium. Maybe, maybe in some. They're insecure. Look, it's just... Can you stop driving? I'm trying to stream. I, I open the door. Excuse me, I'm, I'm a streamer. Can you not drive here? I mean, but, like... I, I have my mic set up so that if, like, cars go by, you guys don't hear it. It's only when someone has, like, the jackass loud muffler do you guys hear it. But no, any anytime I see here, though, I'm just like, Rah! 
Uh, but like, yeah. just thank you for the follow. But another cards with loud music, cards with loud music. Okay, I can I I can filter that out if they're like if they're just driving by and they're blasting the music. Like I'm on a main road. I kind of I kind of expect it. But like if they're sitting outside my bedroom window, blasting music with the bass turned all the way up, I fucking hate them. And I will go outside and I will talk to them. There, were, there was someone that like kept doing that like at like six in the morning. They would be sitting in their car under my window with their music cranked all the way up, their bass cranked up all the way up, and it would wake me up every fucking time. So I, I went out in my pajamas, my scruffy hair, and I was like, I, I was so mad. I think I said like, do you know what time it is? I think that's the first thing I said to him. I didn't even like was wasn't even trying to be polite. I was like, "Do you know what time it is?" I was so mad. <laughs> yeah, turn that shit off when you're parked. Exactly. Like you are not the only person in the world. You have to like just come on. If they're blasting their music and have a loud built muffler, then they are they are they're horrible. Even broad daylight, still a dick move. Yeah, I feel like if you're parked somewhere, you should turn down your music. But, like, I can understand if you're, like, driving on a main road and there happens to be, like, apartment buildings. You know what? Fine. Fine. I get it. It's a main road. Like, you should you should kind of expect it living on a main road. But parked under my window blasting music? Go to hell. What about bumper to bumper traffic? I feel like bumper bumper traffic you should turn it down to. Like, any, any point where someone's going to be exposed to your music for a long period of time, you should turn it down. They want to feel the music. I mean, I, but I don't want to feel their music. I, I, want them, I want them to stay the fuck away from me. One moment, Emily. Hey. I picked the wrong shirt to wear. It's always the worst songs too. Look, I'm not I'm not gonna criticize anyone's taste in music, but I it, it, it's just I just don't want to hear it is what it comes down to. Oh uh, God, Beckrin, why? I will criticize, like I said, I feel like I, I feel like music taste is very like subjective and I'm not gonna like shit on anyone for liking specific music. Cause like I, I feel like you should be able to like whatever you like, unless it's Twinkies. Twinkies suck. Um Best song to blast is the pervert EDM. Look, no one no one needs to be blasting that one. Twinkies are good, what the fuck? No, they're not. Twinkies are terrible. How did we get to music from Twinkies? Because I was I was thinking about how much I hate Twinkies. As a kid, I enjoyed Twinkies. Well, kids are stupid, Pepto. That that's why you liked Twinkies as a kid. I I have explained it for you. No. <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, I, I agree with that, Pokey. Like, music that is, like, harmful messages. I I can I can criticize those, but like if someone's just listening to like rap, like I'm not I'm not gonna sit there and shit on them for it. Ho ho so I don't think I've ever eaten a ho ho before. I've only I only remember Twinkies being bad. Like I remember the first time I tried a Twinkie and I was just like, what the fuck is the shit? Some people just haven't experienced the enlightenment of the Twinkie. Oh, I, I've had Twinkies before. They are they are terrible. Death Metal Fanatic? Death Metal is pretty good. I mean, like, I wouldn't want to listen to Death Metal all the time, but, like, if, it, if it's on, I'll listen to it. Twinkies enlighten my bull. What? Oh, premium to- okay, we're back on the toilet water. Fried Twinkies? I don't think I've ever tried a fried Twinkie. Like, okay, my problem with Twinkies is the is the custard filling or whatever the fuck it's called. You know, the the white filling. That tastes like shit. Tastes so bad. 
That is that is my main problem with Twinkies. I don't I don't know how else to describe it. Let's see. <clears throat> my throat is already dying. We're off to a good start. Obviously, you've never been to a Texas State Fair. No, I, I, I've... Chat, I have not been to fairs in general. Have you had ding-dongs? I don't... I, it has the same shitty white filling. I don't like those. If, it, if it's what I'm thinking about, it still has the same crappy white filling. One moment. Ding-dongs. Let me, let me make sure. Yeah, no, it's the same shitty white filling. I don't like it. If you're gonna get cheap dessert, get cosmic brownies. You are, Ahi, you are right. If I'm going to get a cheap, shitty dessert, it will be the cosmic brownies. Riona's allergic to Texas. I mean, look, chat. After I, I, I did my time in Texas. I don't, I don't need to revisit Texas. Okay. Have you ever had baklava? I don't, I don't think I've had baklava. But I would definitely give it a shot if it was offered. Oh, I dislike cosmic brownies. I can understand disliking the brownies because they are kind of sickly sweet. And I can I can only eat half a brownie at a time. Why do you say that like you were in prison? Because Texas is basically a prison. I'm sure any any Texan in chat would agree with me on that one. False? No, at true. Texas is bestest, no. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you guys on Texas. Texas is great. Beckrin? Beckrin, you know what else has no income tax and is also a shithole? New Hampshire. Not not having ha, not having income tax is not a good thing. I can Or was it was it no, it's sales tax in New Hampshire. I couldn't remember. But you know, something something states with no income tax have in common, they're usually shitholes. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I don't know which states don't have income tax, but I know Florida's kind of a shithole. New Jersey, best state. People pump your gas for you. Oh my god, I remember I was in New Jersey one time, and I didn't realize you couldn't pump your own gas. So I, so I got out to, like, pump my own gas, and... I got screamed at. The attendant screamed at me, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, just terrified as this person was just yelling at me for touching the gas pump. I was just like, I had, I had no idea. Like, I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to pump my own gas. Welcome to New Jersey. And yeah, any any length of time I've spent in New Jersey, it's always been terrible. Are you not allowed to pump it? No, legally you're not allowed to pump your own gas in New Jersey. You get screamed at if you try to. God, I still- I like- I almost started crying. Because <laughs> I don't- I don't do well when people yell at me. Um, but I almost- I almost started crying at a gas station because I was like- I was young. I was like 19 or 18. And it was just some guy screaming me at me at a gas station. I hadn't had enough retail experience to get used to the screaming yet. They attempted to repeal it, but they voted no. I just, like, I... And she just needs to be absorbed in New York. I mean, New York has its own issues, I think, too, right? What do you do if it's, like, midnight and you need gas? I mean, I think there's 24-hour gas stations with attendants. Oh my god. Imagine how shitty of a job that would be, pumping people's gas for them at, like, 3 in the morning. Imagine what kind of fucking weirdos you would see. Like, you might see people like me. I used to go- okay. So, I used to go on, like, late-night drives. Um, I used to, like, um, like driving into slightly rural areas at, like, 2 in the morning. And that was that was how I relaxed, is I would just I would just drive around middle of the night by myself. 
Um, but I had to stop doing that because on one time I got followed by a car. Uh, for like nearly an hour in a very rural place and they were like speeding up and slowing down and they were just like on my ass following me for an hour and then that's when I realized you know maybe maybe um I I probably I, I realized maybe being a 19 year old girl five foot four I probably shouldn't drive around in rural areas at two in the morning I had I had a realization chat that I was about to be murdered. <laughs> Um, but thankfully I, I drove and like there was a police officer, like just I, I found a maid around there was a police officer and I just pulled in next to the police officer and the guy sped off. So it was it was fine. Nothing bad happened, but yeah. I don't it was yeah, don't chat if you're if you're like a young lady, do not go driving around in rural er, rural areas at two in the morning. How are you still alive with all the stories you tell? You know, I don't I don't... I don't know. I have... I've had a lot of, like, close calls. And I, I've, I've managed to stay alive. I've, like, I've got smarter. I don't... I don't go out at night anymore. Uh, I used to... Because, like, I loved going out at, like, 3 in the morning. And I think, like... Oh, God. One time, I was at this pancake place at 3 in the morning... Beckrin, I've lived in rural places. Rural, rural places, it might be nice to see the night sky, but rural places kind of suck a little bit. You know, like you, having to drive an hour to go get your groceries is like, no point now. Um, like, um, but yeah, one time I went to a pancake place at three in the morning and I was doing my homework because my power died and I had a paper I had to submit by eight in the morning. So I went to a 24 hour pancake place with my laptop. I was, I was drumming out a paper and this random dude is like, you should drop out of college. Like this random fucking stranger was telling me to drop out of college and become my own boss. It sounded like the start to an MLM pitch. So I was like trying really hard to like be polite, but like try and ignore him. And when I, when I finished my paper, it was like probably like four in the morning and I started walking out to my car and he started following me. Um, I, I don't think I've ever unlocked a car so fast in my life. I, I fucking, I ran for it. I started my car and I pulled out really fast and just sped off. Cause he started fucking following me to my car. And that's when I stopped going out to restaurants at 3 in the morning by myself. Uh Chat, I try I try I like I like going out in the middle of the night, but it's been it's been ruined for me. You have the worst luck but best for still being alive. Yeah, yeah, I am I am very lucky to be alive. But yeah, no, I just I don't know why. I just didn't think it was unsafe to go out that late. I don't I just I just didn't think it was. I thought I thought it would be fine. I mean, culture that is kind of true. Like, I I realized like talking to some of my male friends, they don't realize how cautious you have to be if you're a woman. Like, you have you have to be extremely cautious if you're a woman. Like, you you you're constantly thinking about like what can go wrong if you're out by yourself. But for the most part, honestly, it's not. I don't. I don't feel too unsafe most of the time. It's only like if I go out at night. But it's it's just it's just how it is. But I mean, like every every gender has its own struggles and own stuff going on. Like, yeah, because like men have like issues too. You know, like they have. Men have different issues they have to struggle through, just like women have different issues they have to struggle through. It it's just life. <laughs> I feel unsafe in this chat with Riona watching us. You you feel unsafe right now? Chat, does this make you feel unsafe? I'm staring at you. I'm watching you, chat. Just conceal carry. Beckrin, you saw how I handled my gun in VR. I I think I don't think I don't think giving me a gun is a good idea. Look, chat. 
On the bright side, with me watching you, if you suddenly start having a heart attack and go into cardiac arrest, I know how to do CPR. How's that? Does that make you feel safe? No? Why, why does it make you feel safe? Uh... Okay, fine, fine. I will play my airport dog game. Riona can kiss me if I stop breathing. I, I wouldn't do mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR on a stranger. Um, I, I definitely, I definitely wouldn't do that. Let me swap to this. You told us about shoving something up the Aretha, remember? I mean, I was talking about a Foley catheter. What's wrong with Foley catheters, chat? And pause the music. Everything is wrong? No, everything is right. Why, why would everything be wrong? <laughs> so, I, my brother responded to the DMs of you guys saying our brother, and his response was a nice cult. He, he called you guys a cult. Nice menu, thank you. It looks so good. Trust me, Chad. This is this is a top tier game. All right, there we go. Turned it down. We are the Riona mind, Chad. There there are better things to make a cult of. Don't don't make it. Don't make a cult for me. What is this music? Quality. <clears throat> well, chat, it has it has finally been done. I have I have been put in the slammer. Krista. Oh, the music was loud, but the game is kinda quiet. Let me turn it up a bit. Oh, hey, you remember that dog you hired to cater our anniversary? He dropped a piano on your head and locked us in this metal box. In hindsight, trusting a dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was a bit of a mistake. I don't blame you for doing it, but a mistake was absolutely made. Uh, he said he made a killer chicken parmesan. parmesan. And yet the first course was cake. There was no part of this where the seven-foot dog looming over our table wasn't suspicious as possible. He's a seven-foot tall dog lady. At a certain point, I didn't have a choice. Hmm, very good point. Anyways, I put together this board to help you move your limbs again. You remember how to use airports, right? You remember. You're fine. Krista. I just got ambushed by a seven-foot-tall dog caterer. Honey, we got ambushed by a seven-foot dog ca caterer. This is not the time for selfishness. Oh, 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 I'm the selfish one in this relationship, Krista. Um, hmm. I have suffered traumatic cardboard-related head injury, my darling. And yet you remember complicated words like darling. Truly, you are an inspiration to mankind. Chat, I have never been told that by a lady before. I, I, oh my god, I'm an inspiration to humankind. Chat, clap for me, I am an inspiration. All two of us, including me, oh, are we, are we the last two humans? See, you already remember that we're the only two humans beings left in the universe. And that if that hadn't woken you up just now, I'd be all alone. Oh, that, that, Krista, that's a little, that's a little grim, Krista. Because my fiancé chose to trust a massive dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, to cater our anniversary. Okay, why, why is she harping on me, chat? I only, it, it was a seven foot tall dog. He said he made good chicken parmesan. I didn't make this giant arts and crafts project to drown my fears in cardboard and marker fumes. You're thinking of someone else. I'm sorry, Krista. I'll be more careful about giant suspicious dogs I trust in the future. 
For both our sakes, thank you. I would have missed you, weirdo. Fuck you, Krista, I'm not weird. This, uh, it's already bad enough that chat calls me weird. Now she's calling me weird. Seriously, you take flights, get a boarding pass, find your gate, find way to pass time, maybe throw a tennis ball at a dog and see what happens. You really do know what you're doing. Like the alien language, you can just sight read it at this point, right? You're a natural. Uh, Krista? Krista? What? Ah. Idea, how about we ignore potential disaster like responsible adults? You know, that is that is how I cope with life, too. Is I just ignore any potential disaster until it blows up on me. Agreed. Relax for as long as you need, Toy. The airport is undergoing renovations, so things will be quiet for a while. No one will bother you. When you're feeling up for it, meet me on the beach well. I'll be waiting in the middle of that big concourse leading to the greater lighthouse. I have to get back to my job with R and D R and Dog. You know how it is. The big project can't exactly wait. Of course, of course, Krista. I'm glad the giant piano didn't break your head. Happy anniversary. I love you, weirdo. Oh, wow. I love you too, weirdo. See you on B12 chat. She's, she, she, can't, she can't just call me weird like this, you know? Oh, there was, there's cake here. I see. We are, we are, we are in prison right now. How, how do I get out of the prison? I can't jump high enough to get out of the prison. Wait, how did she get out of the prison? Oh god, Chad, we're gonna die here? Oh wait, there's there's a bunch of boxes with arrows pointing up. I wonder I wonder if the game is telling me to climb these boxes and jump out. I figured it out, chat, we're free. Yep, I can I can totally read that. Oh wait, there's there's dogs for us to talk to. Alright, chat, here is this is a sign that this is a high, high quality game. Okay, look at these glorious PNGs of dogs. His name is Witness Dog. Oh, uh, so. Did you watch me and my fiance get kidnapped by a seven foot tall dog? Listen, I am very small. I don't get involved when I see a cute anniversary dinner turn into a hostage situation and a possible concussion. I stay quiet. Uh... Chad, I don't know how to say that word, so we're gonna pick the second option. You thought we were cute? I mean, sure, you seem to have really positive relationship, except for when that woman you were with dived across the platform at the slightest sign of danger. I know how to say that chat. Look, you guys know I'm dumb and don't know how to speak English. As far as it looks, you're both fine, I guess. Uh, kind of 5 out of 10 for my taste. I am being... I am being raided by a dog. You can stop talking about how cute you think we are now, thanks. Look, I just want to live my quiet life, quietly watching other people get in trouble. If anyone asks, this conversation didn't happen. Alright. Oh, one moment, there is a... We can pet the dogs, chat, you know? He, he may have watched us get kidnapped, but you know, he is, he is a good boy. So we're gonna we're gonna pet the dog. All right, we are we are on an adventure. Look at this one! Isn't doesn't he seem like a good boy? Pet pedoc pedocstrian. If I had a dollar for every time I heard a fellow bark at a passing plane, I would be extremely worried and seek help. Fair fair enough fair enough. Um, but you're. Pedo pedestrian. Like a, a pedestrian, but a dog. Oh god, chat, it's the it's a genetic mistake called a pug. Hello, I have short-term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Beachwell? D 
do you do you start all of your conversations with I have short term memory loss? Yes, I need 50 of them. So you wish to live dangerously. Here you go. Enjoy your flight. I've opened the gate to the rest of the airport for you. Have a wonderful day. Okay, you're you're a good boy. You're a good boy. All right, chat. We have we have our boarding pass. Now we now we need to get on our plane. It's 11:20, 11:56 is the boarding pass. We can we can make it. Yep, this the sign is definitely very very helpful. Um I can I can read this. A ticket for everyone in chat. Yes, chat. Everyone go get your plane tickets. Hello, dog. Airport manager. <laughs> Greetings. I apologize that you had to see Phobos in the state. We're currently undergoing major renovations, so next time you arrive here, things should be substantially altered. We prefer to seem as charming, really, rather than broken. You know? Fair enough. I, I hope people see me the same way. I'm not typ the typical information dog, but since Cla Claudio still isn't here, I'll have to do. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um... What's with the fire hydrant? I actually don't know. It certainly is large. Claudio, our usual information dog, will probably be able to provide more context for the next time you decide to visit our corner of the universe. Okay, I think I think I know where to go. Enjoy your trip and don't be a stranger. All right, you're you're a good boy. All right, chat. Um, we chat. Do you want a soda? We can we can get real good papa. We can get soda. Can I can I have this game? Aha! Now we fast. Look look at us go. We're fast, chat. Is this, is this what, hmm. Is there, there's like one urinal in here. My, for the one singular human. Can I get a Mountain Dew? No. Let's see. Up, oh, cabinet dog. What the fuck is he doing with all these cabinets? Pupsy, Pupsy's a pretty good pun. Isa, can I get a shout out for Isan Day, please? Give me one moment to consume some water, though, chat. I'm gonna cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets, and by a lot, I mean every single cabinet I could find. For years I have done this. I am a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets and I have created this ocean because I am Poseidon. And I don't know what this metaphor means anymore, but I'm still talking. Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please, save me from my cabinets. Buy a cabinet. Buy several cabinets. Um... Why cabinets? Why look at a sunset? It's just beautiful. But do you need to look at all the sunsets? That is a very good point. But I really, really like cabinets. Um, I'll, I'll take I'll take one of the cabinets off your hands. I would I would take more, but I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know if I can save you. We're both doing the best that we can, and that is all we can do. Thank you. Now take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. Can I? Okay, I have, I have a whole ass cabinet. Hold on. Will you please, please, take one of my 17,000 cabinets? 
I feel like that's a really heavy commitment, man. How do you think I feel? I am a dog who possesses, possesses 17,000 cabinets that I can't even open. I have made many commitments and they are all bad. Um, you're... But you're, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. That's that's a good boy. I love the dog character models. Me too. This game is so... I, I, I love it. How does he even make them? I think he bought them. Is Bible Dog just a really fun guy to hang out with? Yes. Does he deserve to be arrested for his crimes? Also yes. Wait. Wait, who? Um... What? Who, who is Bible Dog? Alright, never mind. Ah, uh, chat, I have I have found it. I have found it. Premium water dispenser. We have found the toilet water. Artisanal toilet water. See chat? Now now we have the fancy toilet water. Welcome to the back end. It's named that because butts are on the back of your body. Um, that's... I I mean, I can't... I can't really argue with that logic. That is, that is, that is kind of right. I've been told it's extremely funny. Pet the bartender? I will in a moment, chat. I have, I, I am on a mission to pet all the dogs. Don't worry. Now I see what you're thinking. You want to drink from your own toilet bowl, don't you? Chat, how? How does he know that I want to drink my own toilet water? He's a fucking mind reader. You see that face he has? That is a face of a dog that knows everything. Well, consider this a home away from your home. A place to forget your troubles. Stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap of premium toilet water. And lap that sucker up. What can I get you, my friend? Uh, what varieties of toilet water do you recommend? Oh wow, you basically can't go wrong where toilet water is involved, but I prefer modern bowl paired with an H reservoir. Mature taste with a modern edge? That's the good stuff, buddy. You could always drink from the bathroom, but where's the fun in that? Where's the ambience, man? That's why I like working here. You see a thousand faces and they're all happy to see you because you care about the same thing. Also, they're dogs. That's a value pr valuable perspective. I really appreciate it. Least I could do, my friend. You enjoy that premium toilet water, no? Okay, that that's a that's a good boy. That's a good boy. We have to pet him. Oh shit! I love these in airports. You you know these things that walk faster in airports. I love them. But every time I get to the end, and it's the same thing with escalators. No matter how old I get, I always think it's going to suck up my shoes and eat me. So when so whenever I get to the end of these escalators, I always jump. <laughs> Even even as an adult, I still I still jump off escalators. I have to mentally prepare to step off every every time. I have to I I always jump because I'm afraid they're gonna eat me. Same. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad I'm not alone. Now is this my gate? Eleven fifty. Chat. We have already found our gate. Hello! Your plane is ready to take off, but I'll need your red passport first. Um... I... I don't have a red passport. Ah, oh, you need to go to the Photoshop. I know the manager. He'd be delighted to help you get the passport you need. Feels like IRL platforming? Yes, I always, I always feel like... Chat, escalators always feel like a fight to the death. Eat you or eat you. Eat me. Like, suck up my shoes and drag me into the escalator and kill me. That's what I think every time. Alright, I think I saw the Photoshop over here. We kind of just walked past it. Wait, I can run. We might need to hurry so I don't miss my plane. Chat, that is... That is a cool dog. Look at him. He has fucking sunglasses on. Whoa! You! Look! Incredible! 
I would ask to take your picture, but we've all got places to go and cool things to do, man. If you need a red passport, though, you can use my photo booth. All I need is a fancy bottled toilet water. Chat, he, he knows. He knows I have the toilet water. You know. For a good reason. Have you ever played five considered playing five dimensional chess? Um, I have I have never considered playing it, but um my my dad actually unironically got really into 5D chess on Steam and it was all he played for like a week. I was just like, uh like I didn't know how to feel when I saw him playing it at three in the morning. Got a fancy toilet water here. That's not what I'm looking for. Wait, 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 okay. Let me, do I have to have it in my hands? All right, here's the toilet water. So good to see you again, my gorgeous buddy friend. How are you? I've got the fancy toilet water. Oh, awesome. I will put this to <clears throat> very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby. Okay, you're, you're a good boy. We have to- we have to pet him, he is a good boy. Okay, Chad, I couldn't- I couldn't contain myself, I had to do it. Alright, we have our passport, what does this one do? Is that me? Am- Am I a dog, secretly? No wait, this is just a random dog Cheek. photo generator. That that's a pretty good dog picture. Cheek. One moment. Cheek. Oh, there's a husky. Look at him. Cheek. Cheek. That same dog. Cheek. Is there any more pictures Cheek. of dogs? Give me new dog Cheek. pictures. Okay, never mind. I, I I guess there's only like three dog pictures. All right, we got our passport. We got our ticket. We can we can go get on our flight, which I think was over here. ATM. My God, chat. I will never be out of money ever again. I have I have found a way to get infinite money. If you tap this works IRL, just go to an ATM and just start smashing your head against it and it'll print all the money for you. Alright, we're taking we're taking some money with us. Alright, I now have my passport. Here's my passport. Fantastic, that'll be all I need. If you already turn in your boarding pass, you should be able to fly. Have an excellent day. How did you come up with your VTuber name? I kind of just searched around on Google for names that I liked, and I picked one. Sorry, it's not super interesting. Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Um, wait, wait, can you wait, wait, sir, sir? What do you what do you mean my pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff? I'm not sure I'm comfortable having a drunk pilot. Oh, you don't understand. Our pilots have to be drunk. They're dogs. The sky is so big and we are so small. Uh, um. Um. Okay, here... I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing, but here's my boarding pass. Thank you for trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. Their job is to bear witness and you are helping. Wait. Bear... bear witness? Bear... bear witness to what? Make sure you supplied whatever associate... my associate needs and please have a wonderful flight. Bear... bear witness to what? Chat, I'm a little... I'm a little concerned. What's this? Camilla? That's a normal... That's a normal name. That's not just like some dog pun. Hello, have you visited a time zone before? Uh... No, I don't think so. Not a problem. Being new to something just means you can reveal a new piece of yourself in the process. 
The time zone is a pocket of distorted time space tucked within three cozy walls so we aren't flayed by the unleashed forces of entropy. Step inside and you can watch time fly by. Literally. It goes so fast. Um, well, that sounds great. And terrifying. Both of these things are very true. That said, it's actually safe to do. Somehow we aren't going to question it. Enjoy and have a fantastic time. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna we're gonna miss our flight if I stay in there. All right, chat. We're gonna. We're, are you ready, chat, to get on the airplane? Did you guys get your snacks? Getting the all dogs go to heaven vibe. I don't think I've ever watched all dogs go to heaven. Boom. <laughs> no, I forgot my peanuts. They'll they'll give you peanuts on the plane back, and it'll be fine. I got my space parachute. Why why are you why are you looking at me like that? I have to go to the bathroom and just stop the plane. Just pee out the window, culture. Oh, I hope this goes okay. This is my first flight ever. What if it all goes wrong? Ha, huh, now now you've got me worrying a bit now. Oh no, we can't both be worrying. That's too much worry. If it helps, we can take turns right now. It's your turn to worry. And now it's my turn to worry. Does that help? Um, what if what if we both don't worry? How about how about that? That is a crazy concept. That's a bit scary, but I suppose it's worth a try. Will you hold my paw until the worry goes away? Oh, that's so cute. Absolutely. No, wait, I need to I need to let me pet the dog. Let me pet the dog. I just got here. Where do you find all these deranged games? Well, there's another streamer with taste just as weird as me. So sometimes I'll see him play a game and I'll watch like 30 minutes and I'll be like, never mind, I want to play this. So I'm, I'm actually just ripping off another streamer. <laughs> I, I've, I've just out it myself. Let's see. Amazing. Thank you. Can't believe it's just Germa. <laughs> Hello! I have short-term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Elf Planet? Yes, and I need 50 of them. So you wish to live dangerously. Here you go! Enjoy your flight. Oh, uh, what time is it right now? I don't I don't see a clock anywhere, chat. I want I want to see what time it was. Okay, we're just we're just gonna take a boarding pass and take it. Pino Pinorstrian? What the hell what kind of dog pun is this? I've been told I look very good in a fedora. They were lying, but it still felt nice to be told, you know. You know, that's that's exactly how I feel all the time. I, I like it when chat tells me lies, like I'm their favorite streamer. I, I like it when you guys lie to me. You guys should lie to me more often. <laughs> You're cute. Okay, now you are lying. You are my favorite. Aw, chat. Thank you. Thank you for lying to me. I appreciate it. Look at Oh wait, chat, we didn't we didn't pet the dog with the fedora. Sorry, sorry. I can't believe I forgot. You're a good boy. You're probably up there. Aw, thank you. You're the apple in my eyes, pig me. Pig me. It's okay. I know I know you like Nina better, but I also like Nina better. <laughs> Nina's pretty great. Literally my favorite. Oh, you so I love you so much. Okay, sorry, sorry, chat. I have to I have to contain myself. I love you so so much. Wow. <laughs> Look, Nita's pretty great. Okay, I can't I can't blame anyone for that one. 
Like, anytime I, I always, like, tune into her streams with, like, the intention to, like... I, I always I always turn on Nina's stream and I'm like, I'm just gonna watch like 10-15 minutes and then next thing I know I watched her for two hours. It happens every time. Neeners, yes, Neeners is her new name. Arches are just lines that decided to try their best, you've got this. Wait, what? Arches are just lines that decided to try their best. That makes my brain hurt. I don't know why, but that one hurts my brain. Alright, aren't we looking for our wife or something? I think we're I think we're looking for our wife. But I don't I don't know where she is. You think Nina's here? No, um, Nina's internet is currently dead, I think, so I don't think she's here. But chat, I have to I have to like express my affection secretly. It has to has to be a secret. Okay, I can't can't do it openly. You think Nina's in the game? If, if Nina's in this game, then truly this is the best game ever made. Barista dog, where's the bartender? Place is called Coffee Boy, and I do the coffee stuff. Got an order? Um. Accenta Quipple Shot Caramel Macchiato Low Froth Cream Double Whip One Sprinkle Cinnamon. Oh. That's a big order. You asked for something unprecedented and dangerous. I have made it for you. What the fuck? If anyone asked, you didn't get this from me. Chat, what the fuck this is? Well, can I drink this? I can. Oh my god, look at me go, I'm so fast. All right, one moment. Got another drink order for me. Um, latte, vanilla latte, one pump, two shots of espresso and caramel drizzle. Hmm, little tricky. Oh look, I did it. Why, why is everything all weird now? Can't think of an order right now. I'm here if that changes. God knows you humans can't stay away long. Wow! Wow! I just- I have just fucking been called out by a dog. Can't believe I was just called out by a dog. I only really drink this too. I might have to reload the game to get rid of this visual. Have you heard of catfishing? Yes, I've heard of it before. I don't know where you're going with that though. All right, let me let me save the game and reload just because I think if you break flow of time, your boarding passes will become invalid. You still want to quit? One moment. We have to, we have to get rid of the visual effect because I can't live with that forever. All right. Well, this is officially garbage. All right, we need, we need we need a new one. Yes, I need 50 of them. Thank you. All right. We have we have our new boarding pass. Is this the elevator? Where's the elevator? Oh, there it is. I fell into it. Go away for one minute, you already set your passport on fire. Well, it's because I reloaded my save. It, it barbecued the passport. Not the passport, the boarding pass. Alright, there's coffee. What's over here? Um... Radical Samantha. As you can see, this is a disturbingly primary co primarily covered establishment because we are in the technology business. I assume you want to possess the wonder of an incredible, all-powerful smartphone. But why would I need a smartphone? There's phones everywhere. They're smooth, delicious, and incredibly satisfying to flush down the toilet. You can't flush a payphone down the toilet unless you're cool. Um, okay, hit me with a phone. Certainly, sir. Here you go. Ah, shit, chat. Look, I just got an iPhone. 
and it doesn't work. I have been scammed. But good, good dog anyways. What else is around here? Aha! There's another building. Oh, look! This dog has a hat, too. I've been told I look very good in a... Okay, he's it's the same thing as the other dog. Ah, uh, shiz, the photo dog again. Do I still have my passport? I don't. Whoa, you look incredible. I would ask to take your picture, blah, blah, blah. It's the same, same text as before. I have a Mothman record right here. I don't have a Mothman record. I'll be back. Okay, we have to, we have to find a Mothman record. All right, now, now I have cat ears. Yeah, yeah. Where, okay, where am I gonna find a record? That is, that is my next question. Wait, what are these two buildings over here? Oh wait, those are bathrooms. Maybe I need to get out of the pool? What the fuck, that dog has big arms. You bet me a dollar I can't bench something and I will win and then eat the dollar. That's just how it works. Well. What a surprise, she found the bathroom. Shut up, chat! I don't have a thing for bathrooms. The bathroom's just... Chat. Chat, you have to believe me. It's I'm not the one putting bathrooms in video games, okay? Blame the game developers. Ah. <sighs> When, when will you guys stop slandering me? She is looking for the fart corner. Chat, I'm in my bedroom. Every corner is a fart corner. Pet dog's three elf. Oh, he has like fucking elf ears on him. It's Rick, welcome. How are you? You don't choose the dog elf life, man. I mean, you do, but it feels pretty inevitable in hindsight. Um... Excuse me, what? Alright, just... Okay, you're you're a good boy, though. We're gonna pet him. Let's see, what is... Chat, this, this shop looks a little... A little intimidating. Okay, let's go in. Um... Orbo. Welcome to Orb. We sell Orb. We are Orb. And of course, Orb is. Orb is. How can Orb inhabit your life today, my friend? What is Orb, exactly? Orb is. Everything you are, everything you were, everything you will be. It's Orb, man. It's all Orb. Orb is. Um... Great, that, that clears things up. Um, my favorite dog is probably Golden Retrievers. I like Golden Retrievers, I think they're cute. Glad to hear it. Can I touch the orb? Can I climb up here and touch the orb? You know, I'm just I'm just not gonna ask questions and we're just gonna leave. Nya nya. Oh, look at him! He's a good boy. Can you pet the orb? Can I Can I pet the orb? That is a good question. I can't pet the orb, but I can pet Orbo. Alright. The fuck is this shop? Corby. Hi, nice to meet you. This is a gift shop. And a space-themed one. Want a souvenir? Uh, sure, I'll take a souvenir. Here you go. Actual gun. Uh. You, you sure you want to give me an actual gun? I believe you're in Texas. I think I'm in Texas too. Why am I pointing it to myself? This is, this is not how you hold a gun. I may know nothing about guns, but this is definitely not how you hold a gun. Oh, hi again, friend. Want a souvenir? Um, did did you just hand me a gun? What do you mean? 
You you gave me a gun, Gorby. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it it is weird. Hmm. You smell scared for some reason. I can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear. It's almost like I'm looking inside you. Innocent Tomato, welcome, and thank you for the games that you threw me on Steam. I appreciate it. Are you scared? Um... A, a bit, Gorby. I'm a little... Gorby, I'm a little scared. Well, I hope you're doing okay otherwise. You know, accidents happen. Cor Corby? Not helping, Gorby! What the fuck? Gorby, I don't... Chat, I don't know if I should pet Gorby. Oh, hi again, friend. Want a souvenir? Um, I guess I'd like to buy a gun? Oh, I don't sell guns. Ha! That'd be weird. Wait, but... Oh, hi again, friend. Want a souvenir? Y yes I do. Enjoy. It's for you, after all. Oh my god, he's literally just giving me guns? Uh, not- not right now. That's okay. I'll see you later. Chat, Gorby- Gorby concerns me a little bit. But you know, like, despite- despite the concerning stuff, he is a good boy. We have to- we have to give him pets where it's due. He doesn't sell guns, he just gives them away. You- you right, you right. What am I gonna do with this gun? I can't shoot it. When is my flight? 454, we still have a lot of time. Clerk dog, this looks like a normal store? I have an employee discount, but what am I supposed to spend it on? I can't wear anything here. I'll take one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling here. We sell shoes. The last delicacy. The good stuff. Um, do you think they would go well with the rest of my outfit? Sir, I appreciate the trust, but I know absolutely nothing about the concept of clothing or fashion. Pear, how's the toilet water? It's delicious. I am a dog who works retail. None of this makes sense. Fair, fair enough. Um, but you are, you are a good boy. And deserving of pets. Yes. Excellent choice. Well, he gave me shoes, but I'm just gonna leave them on the counter. Actually, no, I'll take them. We have shoes now. My, my inventory is just getting filled with garbage that I am collecting. Oh, look at him! He's asleep. Chad Shakespeare. Chad Shakespeare, what the fuck? What kind of shop is this? Looks like a skateboard shop. Forsooth, my dude, and welcome. Let thy eyes roam across the bodacious expanse of my boards and let me know how I can help. Um. One skateboard, my good dog. Huzzah! A skateboard for my fantastic friend. Please remember to wear knee pads. I would not wish for thy rad buttocks to be wounded. Can I use the skateboard? I can flip it in my hands, but I can't get on it. Bro, once again, I'm honored to have your visage smile upon me and stuff. How are you? I'm well, Chad. Always good to see you. Take care of thine self, buddy. What a- what a- you are, Chad. You're a very good boy. Won't that gun be an issue getting on the plane? I don't- I don't know if it will, considering it was sold at an airport, so it might be fine. I hate briefcases. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. The snappy buckles and the fiddly locks and the rough handles and the weird materials they put on the outside that get messed up as soon as you use them. Oh my god, he's very, he's very passionate, chat. I mean, come on, man. What is even up with that? Love customers, though. Welcome to the briefcase outlet. It's an outlet for my feelings about briefcases and method to continue distributing them into the world against my better judgment. You know, 
that is that's kind of how I feel. That that's basically streaming for me. It's my it's my place to outlet all my questionable feelings. Why don't you uh, stop selling briefcases? I couldn't subject anyone else to this life. I do it so that others may not. It's a devil's bargain, and I've tried to make my peace with it. Make make sense? Just don't tell my kids. You you have my word. Would you like to buy a briefcase? I do not recommend it, but I cannot stop you. Actually, can I use a briefcase outlet to express my feelings about briefcases too? Of course. My outlet is your outlet. Friends, speak your truth about briefcases. Man, I just, I just love briefcases. I love them, chat. Oh, he has, he has nothing to say to me. I am trying very hard not to feel betrayed. <laughs> I do not believe in briefcases, but I will take one. I perpetuate oblivion. Horrible briefcase. <laughs> you're you're a good boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for betraying you. How could you do that to him? I know, Chad. I'm a monster. Is this the same shop? Wait. Um. Why is there two shops that are exactly the same? Does he does he say the same stuff? Okay, he says- he says the same stuff, okay. Okay. Oh, there's another dog. Janitor dog. Oh, hey buddy, you're probably wondering why your boarding pass igloos and fun little whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? Or when you turn around. Or when you blink. It's because of me. Sorry about that. Name's Janitor Dog. My parents were very literal. Do you have to clean it up, though? I do take pride in my a job well done. And if all your shenanigans were flopping around, it might pose a hazard to existence as we know it. It's a little civic duty, but a little bit pup sitting, a little having toilets all to yourself to drink out when you need a quiet spell, like any other job, I'd imagine. He talks very confusingly. You you enjoy it? Usually. Everyone gets tired sometimes. I'll take a day to myself and get my brain box in good order. I figure if I miss the chance to clean up some vomit, well, some fellow is bound to eat it eventually. It's just how hygiene works. Okay, you're but you're a good boy. Oh, there's another fedora dog. I wonder if he says the same stuff. I spent so much time looking for a nemesis that I didn't ask myself whether I was ready to be a good nemesis. You gotta ask yourself the important questions. True, true. Um, but you are, you are also a good boy. Well, we still have time to catch our flight. We're still, we're still good on time. What's this? Dog dur dog. <laughs> okay, zombie, good night. Thank you for dropping by. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm a dog. If you're horribly injured, deathly sick, or just a little under the weather, I'll be giving you some medical attention. You alright with that? I love when dogs give me medical attention. Settle down, buddy. I save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save, I'd be happy to help. So what you need today? Um... Can you, uh, save me? Absolutely. Let me just take a look here and... Done! Your progress has been saved. And by progress, I mean life. That's a... That's a good dog, chat. Can I interact with this? No. Wait, is that a German Shepherd? What? 
Look at him! My bones ache, kid. Probably from fighting in the wars. Uh, which wars, old timer? All of them. Okay, there was one war that I missed, but that's just because I overslept, and everyone in my platoon forgot to turn on their alarms. But there was a sleep war, so I guess I, we won that one either way. Are you okay? Oh yeah, never in any danger. Considering I was piloting a 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. Excuse me, you were doing what? But jacking into the mainframe that lies beneath all things to destroy the evils that haunt our soft vulnerable reality takes a grim toll. Think I might go into restaurant management. What, what would you call your restaurant? 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. And sons. That's a, that's a good boy, chat. It's a very good boy. Well, here's a, we're, we're bound to find a record at some point. Look at him! This is a good boy. I already know this is a good boy. Hungry? Me too. Aw, I'm sorry you're hungry, buddy, but you're a good boy. What the fuck is this? I have, I have questions. Give him shoes to eat? You right. Can I give him shoes? Would you like to take these shoes? Oh, I just... I... I, I just ate the shoes. What the fuck? I just ate them. I was trying to give him the shoes and I ate them. Ah, Texas dog up oh, here. Here we go, chat. Here's the mistake. Texas. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to High Stakes, named after our delightful mascot, Roger, who you can see hanging from a very thin thread directly above us. In case it isn't clear, Roger is very much alive. I'm from New Jersey. How can I help you? This dog? He says he's a Texas dog, but he's lying to me. Aren't you from Texas? Nope, I'm from South Dakota. Do you realize that you're surrounded by meat? And it's all above eye level, so our name is both accurate and amusing. Roger is a marketing genius. That said, while meat is available for purchase, our primary stock is in the meat-like, meat-scented, meat-flavored squeaky toys. Want one? Sure, sure. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Enjoy! Go Brooklyn! Chad, I have some squeaky salami. I am winning. Not now. Cool, feel free to come back if you change your mind, which is also made out of meat. True. Garbage can. Oh, I'm throwing away on- No, I threw away my squeaky toy! I didn't realize I was throwing away my stuff. Oh well. Hold on, sir. I need I need another squeaky toy. You put that behind the desk where I can't get it. Okay. Never mind. I got the I got the salami, the important thing. Flower dog. You like flowers? I like flowers. Throws one more item into the trash. Look, my sometimes sometimes my hand moves faster than my brain. Welcome to Borkchids, the na the friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you want a bouquet, I would be delighted to sell you one. However, if you would simply like to smell the flowers for free, I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know. What's your favorite flower smell? Oh, sunflowers are my favorite by far. If you sniff long enough and hard enough, your nose will get really hot. Wait, what? And if you keep sniffing, the seeds will fly out of the flower and up your nose and into your mouth. You'll hack up a bit, but that's okay. It keeps the seeds from getting into your lungs. So now you've got all these sunflower seeds roasted by your nose heat just sitting in your mouth. And you can just chew away.
I'm gonna be honest, I... I... Uh... Uh, thanks for the uh, tip. Just sharing the knowledge where I can. Thanks for asking, buddy. Um, always. I'll tell you a secret. I think about flowers very little. Until a customer comes in, I just kind of stare into space and dis disassociate. There's nothing in my brain that can hurt me because nothing is there. <laughs> Chad, I can't believe they put me in the game. And I just think that's a nice little thought. Oh god, Chad, I'm literally in the video game. I'll have to ditch it once you leave. Uh, chat, which which one would you pick, chat? Do you worry about Flower Dog or do you respect Flower Dog? Wait, which one? Respect? Both? <laughs> okay, chat, we, we respect Flower Dog here. Yes, I'd like several bouquets, please. Sure, anything for my favorite customer. Don't tell anyone you're my favorite customer. It'll probably hurt their feelings and I'm not about that sort of thing. Chat, you hear that? I'm the favorite. And we got some wonderful flowers. It's just the same shop twice. Yep, it is. Okay. Alright, what is over here? We need to find a record so we can get our passport. And weren't we supposed to be meeting our wife or something? I kind of forgot about her. This is still, okay, the same shop that's Radical Samantha. Chat, we, we meet again. I'm going to cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets. Okay, it's the same, same thing. Okay. It is, it is exactly the same. Good luck, buddy. I don't need luck. I need to stop buying cabinets. Okay. Chad, I can't- I can't take any more cabinets from him. I can't save him. Anxious dog. But I will be right back, chat, because I suddenly need to use the bathroom, so I will be a couple of seconds. I'm back. I just opened my soda can that I got. 
Because, you know, I'm really, I'm really healthy. You totally don't have an addiction to soda. Listen, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell my boss that I peed on the headphone tree. Um, your, your secret is safe with me. In that case, at puppy school, I cheated on the obedience test. When I was 11, I stole a fire truck. Um. Sir? I have seven false platform pla passports and a squeaky toy in my closet ready to go if the law catches up with me. Sometimes I fart when I'm talking to a customer and I don't say excuse me because I'm hoping they did didn't notice. But it was really loud, so they absolutely noticed, and there's a hitch in the conversation where we were both forced to act. Knowledge that I'm a coward who pretends not to have a butt to save myself 0.2 seconds of embarrassing confession. This dog doesn't have a fart corner, he doesn't. I'm not sure I love my wife anymore. <laughs> also, I'm a dog. I think that last one is a biggie, to be honest. Tell me more secrets. I'm good now. I have no more secrets. I am invincible. I'm happy for you. Take care. Wait, absolutely, Mothme. Give me... Fantastic, Mothman appreciates your support. Did you just pull out a saxophone and start playing? Sir, what are you doing? It's time to jam chat. It's playing music for us. All right, let's we have we have our album, but let's let's take a look around because I feel like this is the kind of game where you need it. What the hell is a bookstore? Oh my god, I can still hear the saxophone in the distance. Oh wait, I forgot to pet him. Shit, chat one moment, I need to go back. We for we forgot to pet him. We forgot to pet the good boy. You are a good boy. What's a bookstore? Shut up! I know what a bookstore is. You know what you know what I mean. Frederick. Oh hey, you got through the maze. That's neat. That wasn't really much of a maze, Frederick. Are you are you calling me dumb? I've got a book to get back to, but I'm happy to help if there's something I can help you with. Mizu! <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Mizu! I appreciate it! Uh, Mizu, do not- do not ask any questions when I'm playing! <laughs> Mizu's waifu? Ah, uh, is Mizu telling people I'm her waifu? Because it's true, I will- I will be her waifu any day- What the fuck is this? This is, um... It's a game where you're at an airport ran by, by aliens, but it's currently ran by dogs. And welcome, Raiders! My name is Riona. I play a lot of games. Um, I like weird games. If you if you couldn't tell, I, I enjoy finding strange games and playing them on stream. <laughs> Why the maze? It's a pretty interesting story, but if you don't need anything just now, I, I have a book I'd like to get back to. Can you tell part of the story? Her games are always very cursed but very fun. Look, I just I just love my cursed games. I can't help it. <sighs> At first it was a game for me, a way to organize my growing collection of volumes. When I noticed it also put off all but the most dedicated of customer of curious pups, it stuck around. And thank you for shouting out Mizu. And yes, Kat, you should check out Mizu Tail. She is wonderful. I I love her. I think she's she's fucking fantastic. I love her streams. This is the talking sound. Isolation can be convenient. Thanks for sharing, Frederick. You're welcome. Have a good day now. 69 raid. Yeah, there was there was 69 raid raiders. It was it was very nice. I was so sorry. The police are out to get me. Oh shit! You're right. I didn't pet the dog. One moment. I need to pet that dog. That's a good boy. They're all good boys. Oh, it's the photo dog again. Wait, he needs this album. Whoa, you look incredible. All right, me. Here you go, for a good reason. 
Wait, why do you want a briefcase? He wants a briefcase now. Okay, now I have to go back to the briefcase dog. And thank you for the follows, Gimbo, Hurugapagi, Will P, and Zed. I appreciate it. Where was the briefcase store, chat? Am I really gonna have to walk all this way over here? I thought he wanted the fucking album, or was it just the one underground that want underwater that wanted it? You're on a fetch quest? Oh dear god, I am. I am on a fetch quest. It's a Aha, there's the briefcase store. Would you like to buy a briefcase? I do not recommend it, but I cannot stop you. I do not believe in briefcases, but I'll take one. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go turn in this briefcase to the photo guy. I mean, I I prefer cats over dogs personally, but I I still like dogs. I perpetuate oblivion. I like that dog. Yeah, I I feel a little bad for portraying that dog and telling him I like briefcases though. Here's the sweet briefcase you wanted. Oh, awesome! I will put this to <clears throat> very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby. That's a good boy. All right, got our passport. Does it have any other dog photos in here? Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my favorite dog photo with me. This one, this one is a particularly good boy. I like this dog. Right. I completely forgot what we're doing. Are we supposed to find an airport gate? Where are they? Oh, it looks like they're over there. Wasn't I supposed to be meeting my wife? I I keep forgetting that I have a wife. Hey, Riavu, welcome. Ah, chat, look, there's balls. Muscled Sandy. Balls, balls, balls. It's what we sell and it's what I love. Tennis balls are our most popular item. Want one? Are you committed to that name? Listen, I will not apologize for my love of balls. That was a picture you so happy? Yep, magical. It is, it is a very good picture. Fair. Hello, balls on your mind? No, not right now, no. Well, you know where I am if you need to get some balls into your life. Take care. One tennis ball, thank you. You're very much welcome. Let me know how it goes. That's a good one. All right, thank you, sir. I will, I will take this tennis ball. Ah, yo, Chad, it's our bro bartender. Wait, he just says bartender now. Why is he not a bartender? But one moment, I need to get our artisanal toilet water. Never know when we might need it. Welcome to the back end. It's named that because butts are on the back of your body. I've been told it's extremely funny. Alright, we already, we already talked to him earlier today. Do you serve anything that isn't toilet water? Nope. We tried sparkling water, but that has just made everyone fart on their flights. Do you know what 245 dogs cooped up in a tiny space and farting at the same time sounds like? Armageddon. Uh, yep, okay. Very understandable. Take care and let me know if I can help you with anything else. Chat, what if- what if I just drank the toilet water? Yep, I just drank the toilet water. Let's see. We need to- we need to figure out which one of these flights is ours. That's not it. That's not it. None of these are my gates. Pilot dog. Fight isn't here yet. Gates closed. In some ways, isn't the flight always here? Dragonheart, thank you for the follow. If we discount that time exists, yes. He's, he's slurring, Chad. He really is drunk. Otherwise, the attendants get here about 90 minutes before we take off. 
So you're waiting too? I'm always waiting, pal. I'll get what's coming to me eventually. Um, sir? No one escapes, not really. Sir, sir? Sir, what do you, what do you mean no one escapes? Rodney, what the fuck is a human? Rodney the cursed dog. Ah! I am not who you think I am. I am not the successful Caucasian businessman known as Kelvin Will Kevin Williamson the third, with two ex-wives and four children I see on alternate weekends. I am dog named Rodney, trapped in a man's body. Ah! Help me! Help me! I don't want to be a human being anymore. How, how can I help? The baby dog cursed me. She had a good reason, I know. I don't know. All I know is my human business associate mine, and it thinks I can reverse the curse if I have ingredients. You mix the right stuff in the right order, and I'll be a dog again. A beautiful dog, with beautiful fur, and the ability to poop wherever I want without feeling bad about it. So can you get me a can of scarlet bovine soda? Start the process? Maybe fix me first try? I don't have any. Oh, it's easy fix. Go get some. All right, chat. We're, we're we have to help Rodney. Okay, let me let me go see if I can find a soda machine. We need we need to help our man Rodney. We can't we can't just abandon him. Where is I think there's soda vending machine. Aha, there's soda vending machines. All right. Real good papa. What is this? That's just soda. Aha! Scarlet bovine. All right, chat. We got a soda. We need to. We need to help him. We need to turn him into a human again. Or not a human again. A dog again. I got confused. All right. All right, sir, I have the soda. You got it. You got the soda. Okay, let's try the elixir. Ah! Oh. Ah! Okay, that didn't work. But we learned something valuable in the process. Drinking a single energy drink will not remove a witch's curse. I'm gonna have to do some flying search for the next ingredient we need. In the meantime, if you want office supplies, I'd be happy to give you some from my nest. Every day I wake up in a nest of assorted office supplies that I did not purchase or want. It is the weirdest and most terrifying of this curse's side effects. Thanks for the help, bro. Ayumi, thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry, Rodney. We could not we could not save him, chat. But the none of these are definitely my flight, so I think we have to go somewhere else. I also don't see my wife anywhere, so we're just- we're just not gonna meet up with her. He's too far gone, he is. There- there is no saving him, chat. He's doomed. I see more gates over there. Maybe our flight will be over there. What time is it? Hopefully we're not late. Broom. Oh, I should have pet him. Ah, oh, fuck, chat, chat. I know it probably does nothing different, but I need to go pet the human. I I know this is I I can't I can't help myself. I have to go pet him. You don't understand, chat. I ha I have to pet him. I have to. I need to know if it does something different. Well, it'll just take me a moment, okay? That's a good boy. <laughs> okay, that amused me. It didn't do anything special, but I just I just wanted to check. Uh. And no shoes or socks on his 33 33 degrees on. Why didn't you put shoes and socks on, Pokey? I feel like that's an easy fix.
All right, chat. Surely our gate will be around here. Safety dog. Hi there, friend. I sit behind this cold booth all day and help keep the airport safe. If you find anything dangerous or weird while you're exploring, bring it back to me. I'll give you a cool reward. So, anything you'd like to turn in today? Tell me, tell me more about this reward. For beach while I'm giving out beach balls. It's cute. What's your deal, safety dog? I like helping people and I have a lot of novelty toys. It's just a logical conclusion. How can I tell if something's dangerous or illegal? I try sniffing anything I encounter before I interact with it, but that's backfired more than once. Not for now, but maybe later. Do I have anything that's unsafe? You know this cabinet has destroyed a man's life, I think this is unsafe. Awesome, let me get this quick once-over. Hmm, what you've got is weird, but I don't, doesn't seem especially dangerous. Feel free to bring it by anything else you think might fit, though. I'm here to help keep stay folks safe, not be a narc. Oh, I could have... Oh, you're right, the gun. Oh. I, I will pet him when I give him the gun. I think the gun shop's, like, literally right here. It is. Want a souvenir? Yeah, yes, I do. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for giving me an actual gun. Alright, let's turn in the gun. I'm afraid of Gorby. I'm afraid of Gorby, too. Don't worry. I'd like to turn something in. Awesome! Let me give this a quick once-over. You sly dog. Enjoy your reward and come back anytime. Thanks. Honorary cat. Hey, I just became an honorary cat. I'm a cat girl now. Chat. This is, it's over. I have, I have found a cat girl while being a cat girl. This is the greatest day of my life. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Congratulations. So I've been working on my cat, cat scent. Mind telling me what you think of it? I, I'd love to. Okay, this has taken a lot of work. So even if it's bad, please don't laugh, okay? Okay. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog who is napping and probably dreaming about something delicious. The cat nearby chose not to get involved. Snitches get scritches, etc. So what do you think? Um, I honestly... Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it needs a little work. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for so much for the honest feedback. I want to take this title that was entrusted to me seriously. Say, you really helped me out even though you didn't have to. When I became an honorary cat, I got a unique bolt of yarn. It's a symbol of trust. It's pretty important. I want to give you some of my yarn. You're awesome, and I think you deserve it. Thing is, I need to make sure I only give it to someone good. I could hurt a lot of good folks if I mess this up. Yeah, yeah. So just to make sure, are you a good person? Um... Chat, how, how do I answer this? Am I a good person? I think, uh, uh, maybe. No comment? Ah, oh, fuck. Nya, nya. I try to be. The humility is lovely. I appreciate a clear answer, though, please. Alright, I am a good person. Fantastic. Feels nice finding someone to trust like this. Thanks for bolstering my faith in good people doing great things. Take care, you fantastic cat girl. That's a that's a good cat. I'm gonna take this yarn's mine. And now I need to go pet the safety dog. Solidos, thank you for the follow. And Tamaball, welcome! And thank you for shouting out Tamaball. 4.54. Is any of these my flight? It's 
It's not my flight. Chat. We're gonna die in this airport because I can't find my flight. This is this is how it ends. I can't find my flight. We're just gonna die here. Hmm. We went over there already. There are flight there's flights over there. Maybe there it is. How many airports have you been at this point? IRL or in or in the game? That's this. Jimmy Donuts. Yo, Jimmy Donuts. I sell donuts. It's my destiny. In game that I've this is my second airport in game. What can I get you? Um, oh man, I love donuts. It's not a donut. It's a never a, it's never a donut. A donut is a masquerading villain parading inside donut skin. Donut is a mediocre universal constant and I will not brook its foul presence. I'm sorry, I believe in donuts. That's okay, I just believe you're a bad person. <laughs> Hit me with a chocolate death ring, boss. Love it. You take care, you hear? That was harsh. That was... <laughs> this looks like my flight. Oh, is it still too early? What time is it in game? 2.34. We still have to wait for our flight. Flight isn't here. Gate's closed. Do you know when the gate will be ready? 10 to 90 minutes for takeoff, sometimes more and less? Well, it's my job, I wait. I mean, aren't there other ways to go faster? Small coffee, beds, benches, other things? But I don't want to skip throw time. Why would I? I know what comes next. Does coffee skip time? We might, we might have to go back down to the coffee, man. Find the time room. I don't know if there's a time zone here. Because we did a lap around the airport, we didn't see one. All right, let's try coffee. Where is the coffee man? It's over here. Sir? Wait, this is no. Okay, this is this is the skateboard dog. Where is the coffee dog? That's the briefcase guy. That's the bathroom. Coffee man? Am I crazy? I thought the coffee was under the water. Am I losing it? I might be losing it. Hmm. I wish I knew a dog that served coffee. Wait, is that the coffee? No, that's literally just the play the skateboard. Where the fuck is the coffee dog? That's briefcase dog. Hmm. Aha! Here's the coffee dog. Place is called Coffee Boy, and I do love coffee gun order. Isn't coffee poisonous for dogs? You mean the heart racing and flesh skin and the dry eyes and the urge to piss everywhere? Because that's what it does to you humans. Oh. If we are really, truly honest with ourselves, none of us should be drinking this. Chad, I just got told off by a dog. All right, let me let me get the big order. Is that making time go any faster? I can't tell if this is actually making time go any faster. Hmm. Try again. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I don't know if that did anything for me, but now we're seeing everything weirdly. Has to be a time zone around here somewhere, chat. It is making me go faster. Up, oh, it just wore off. Where the fuck do I go to speed up time? Hmm. Look at those black holes above those shops. Have those always been there? Let's see. Oh, it's the ore place. Okay, they've always been there. I'm just crazy. Hmm. Have you been up into the sky? Well, that's where I started. Um, we can we can go back over there and see if there's any time zone skipping thing there. Come on, make it to the elevator. Make it. All right, there we go. Yeah, that was that was a very skillful jump. It's okay. You 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 could you guys can clap and congratulate me on my jumping skills. Are you going up? This is taking a while. Maybe there's a ticket, dog. That's still the ticket, dog. I'm thinking I'll retire a place to dog astral before long. I don't think much right now, but I mind, but I do like the idea of retiring. How premium? Very premium. Gotta quit while I'm ahead, you know. Wait, can I go up there? Sir, can I can I jump behind here and climb up this? Chat, I have a brilliant idea. Do you need a boarding pass to Uranus? Yes, please. Sir, here you go, enjoy the flight. What a what a what a joker. He gave me he gave me a boarding pass to Uranus. This one's at 327. That one's sooner. Okay, I have an idea, chat. We're gonna, we're gonna. Yes, thank you. I need, I need 50 of them. I'm sure you do, buddy. Enjoy your flight. I was trying to see which one's the soonest time. I think this 327 is the soonest flight. Let's see. Yeah, we should be able to board this flight. So we're gonna. Did I throw away my passport? No, I didn't. Okay. Now we just need to find the 327 flight. Look, chat, that was that was a me tier joke. That's that's a joke I would make. 327? This looks like our flight. Bribe dog? What the fuck? Hey friend! You can see my name. I can see my name. We know what's happening here. We know what's up. We know that the real business, I'm bribe dog, baby. And I need something to hold back all my bribes, a container of some kind, a wardrobe or a bin or a cabinet or something. You look familiar. Oh, you must be talking about my cousin, bribe dog. How's he doing these days? He's taking bribes. Oh man, good for him. How's the toilet water? It's great. He's a bribe dog. Wait, I have a cabinet. Did you get a container for my bribes? Is this what you wanted? Ah, uh, thanks, friend. I didn't even have to ask. Alright, let me get my boarding pass. Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass. Here you go. Now we can get on the flight, chat. Oh wait, shit, I was supposed to meet with my wife. Ah, uh, whatever. She's probably dead. 
diet dog. Don't distract me. If I take my eyes off this meal for one second, I'll eat the entire thing. How... How long have you been doing this? I'm right here. <laughs> you left Nikki at the airport? I sure did. Eight hour, eight days, four hours, and 13 minutes. I'm hoping that if I stare at it long enough, it will explode. But you have to eat sometime. This isn't just about getting my diet in order anymore. It's a battle of wills. Okay, okay, dog, whatever, whatever you say. This is an interesting looking airport. Hello, I have short term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Elf Planet? Yes, I need 50 of them. So you wish to live dangerously. Here you go. Enjoy your flight. What time is it right now? Chat, do you see a... Cl oh, it's 14.43. So let's pick something kind of soon. 16.07? That sounds like that will give me enough time to look around. Was Elf Planet the last one? I have no idea how long this game is, if I'm going to be honest with you. Oh wait, I forgot to pet the ticket dog. One moment, chat. He was he was a good boy. I need to pet him real quick. I meant the one you were just at. No, it was like Beachdale or something. Anything is a bone if you bite down hard enough. Fa fa fair enough. What is this shop? Oh, it's photo dog again. Well, I don't know if we're gonna need a photo passport, so we might be fine. Well, there's a meat guy again. I don't think we need to talk to him. There's Jimmy Donuts again. There's the bartender. Hey, Gorby. Hi, nice to eat you. N nice to meet you, not nice to eat you. This is a gift shop, a space feed one. Want a souvenir? Sure, I'll take a souvenir. Here you go. Thank you, Gorby. I know I can always trust on you to give me a gun. Alright, let's see. Oh, look! Look at this! There's two dogs right here. Dog concealing explosives. Listen to me very carefully. The small fluffy friend tucked beneath my body is not a dog. It's just a container full of decommissioned missiles scavenged from the shattered remains of Earth. Do you understand? No, I cannot think of a single reason you think I understand. Okay, by hearing this, you've become my accomplice. I'm a land of pain and could use the company. Wait. Humans left a lot of weapons behind. Like a distressing amount of absurdly deadly things. In a mouth that raises serious questions. I thought they must be like trading cards. And the more ordnance you have, the cooler your collection. They have to be for show, right? By the time I finished scavenging Earth's orbit, I learned that a lot of these cool things I had been gathering could single-handedly wipe out an entire world. Because you humans thought that was totally okay for some reason. Now I've got all these catastrophic, incredibly ill-advised inventions stuffed around inside an adorable disguise and I am freaking out. That, that's understandable. I resigned myself to basically trying to get rid of these things forever. That said, if you know someone who could actually put a missile to good use, feel free to send them my way. I, I could take one of those missiles off your hands. Okay. If you make me regret this, I will find you. Oh, chat, we have a missile. I wonder if there's a safety dog for me to get this to. That's the ball shop. We've already seen that. 
said, I have no idea what to do with this missile. Is that a banana? Hold up. There's a banana over there. Wait, what's this thing tucked away? Oh, it's another bookshop. Phone booth. The operator here, who would you like to call? I'd like to call my mom, thanks. You got it. I'm sorry, sir, but that number seems to be out of service. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Doc Breeder. Oh. I see. Well, let's go check out the banana shop. As you mean to say, this okay. It's, okay, it's a smartphone. This place seems familiar. That's because we are. We're in a converted orb. A bunch of dogs escaped orb. Our, our founder clung to the first thing we saw as representational buoy for our sanity. And we decided to find our feet again by building a cozy little intergalactic telecommunications company. Long story short, our mascot is now a banana, and it's very easy to have a healthy relationship with technology after recovering from a relationship with an eldritch god. Um, that's a- that's a lot to absorb. It's a lot to live through. Okay. I didn't- I didn't know the orb was an eldritch god, but apparently it is. What am I gonna do with this missile? There's another flower store. There's the cabinet dog again. I think that's toilet water over there. How's my day been? My day's been pretty good. Honestly, I kind of- I had a headache earlier, so I spent most of the day sleeping. Oh, this is a bed store. Exhausted Eddie. I'm Exhausted Eddie, and oh boy, I've got deals for you. We're practically giving away beds here. Literally giving them away. It's fantastic. Using one of these beds just once will make five hours go by instantly. Will you feel rested? No. Will you feel happy? Absolutely not. But you sure did use a bed. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Uncle. You're here for a bed, my friend. An exhausted Eddie can't wait to give you one. What if I'm not here for a bed? And you have invoked a deep and abiding fear in the deaths of exhausted Eddie. He's feeling it. Exhausted Eddie is really feeling it. The dark times are coming and they aren't going to stop. Are you okay, Eddie? On a scale from 1 to 10, Exhausted Eddie can't tell. So I'm gonna choose to ignore it. You come back if you decide you want a bed, okay? Can't wait to see you again. Eddie, you're freaking me out a little bit. Ted, do you think Eddie's gonna be okay? There's the banana shop again. Maybe if you pet Eddie? Fuck, I should have pet him. I am a monster, chat. I can't- I can't believe I didn't pet Eddie. Hold on, Eddie. I'll get you those pets. Good boy. He is a good boy. Where are the gates here? Are they in the center or something? Oh, they're around the center. I don't know what that's doing, but... Alright, let's see. Where's my boarding pass? 1607. This is not my flight. Uh, sir? We're, we seem to be hallucinating all of a sudden. Maybe you should put the rocket away? Nah. Let's see. Oh, there's more down here. Oh wait, this is a shop we haven't been into yet. Rimo Rocky. Oh hey, you say the word and I'll put a guitar in your hands faster than it takes you to realize that you like the idea of playing an instrument more than actually playing it. My kid, of course. Unless you too know this pain. Haven't I seen you somewhere? Eh, maybe. I was in a band called Ruffled Shirts. Big hair, lots of scarves, it was ridiculous. Fun, though. 
You're a former rock star? Wow. Nothing former about it, babe. If you truly had it, you never lose it. Consider me corrected. Ha! You have a good day, man. Let's do it. Give me the guitar. My man, good luck, buddy. Ah, shit, chat. You have a sick guitar? I can- I can walk and play at the same time. I'm very talented. Alright, let's see what else is around. Oh, that's Gorby. We don't- we don't talk to Gorby anymore. Gorby concerns me. The hell is this? Why is there toilet paper and bananas in here? Friendly business dog. Welcome to the toilet paper and banana store. That is that is a very interesting business you have here. Both go in the toilet. Ah, true, true. If you ask me why we sell those two things, I'll tell you. They always ask. Okay, why do you sell those two things together? Oh, that's easy. It's a foolproof business plan. The bananas are for eating. Then the toilet paper is for what comes after. I'm talking about poop. Just a banana for me. Sorry, we don't have bananas. Wait, what do you what do you mean you don't have bananas? They're all on display. Both get used on your butt, dear god, Beckrin, why? Can I get some toilet paper then? My dear friend, I would be delighted to give you some toilet paper. Chat, we have toilet paper. You know, we didn't get a banana, but we got toilet paper. Hmm, I wonder where our gate is. Maybe it's further down? You're rich now? I am. I am very rich right now. That's another toilet paper and banana store. It's an album store. We've been there before. All right, let's go down to the center and see if we can find our fly. Okay, I thought we were gonna die. Oh, what the fuck is that? A hat store? Why? Why is there a goose? Why is there a giant chicken? Magic dog. Presto, I've got a customer. Hi there. Not many customers these days. Shrewd de de deduction. However, contrary to all external evidence, I'm very popular. I'll take your word for it. I appreciate it. I'm really not prepared to question my existence today. Neither, neither am I. Hello again, more magic needs? Yes, I need to become very magic. Let me just check our stock, and yep, still magic. Have a wonderful day. Chat. I know how to cast magic. We are now a sorcerer in D&D. I guess a wizard would be more appropriate. Hmm, what's this? Oh wait, this is coffee. What is my flight for? 1607. The fuck is this? Glasses up. Welcome to the light show. Now you strike me as a chandelier type of guy, is that about right? Um, I've enjoyed my share of chandeliers. As have I, things about chandeliers. They're a public menace. More humans die from tragic chandelier incidents every year than shark attacks, plane crashes, and slipping on banana peels, combined. Chandeliers might have destroyed the human race, we don't know. 
The only reason that a chandelier hangs over our heads as we speak is to tempt fate. Are you trying to sell me a murder weapon? If safety dog asks, no. It's a human. Want a lamp you can throw or use for decoration or something? Yes, and I need five of them immediately. You know, there is such as a thing as too many lamps. This is too many lamps. Oh dear god, they're so bright. Why is it so bright? Not right now, cool glasses though. Thanks, I use it to block out all the light in my absurdly bright store. Also, I might be a vampire. Excuse me, sir? Sir, what do you mean you might be a vampire? Alright. Chad, I think, I think that dog might have been a vampire. Do we need to stake a dog? No, I would never hurt a dog, even if it was a blood-sucking vampire. That's 1625, that's still not my flight. That's 1735, that's still not my flight. There's skateboard dog again. If it bites you, you turn into a vampire dog. I have I have no idea. I have never explored the concept of vampire dogs. What's that? Oh, it's skateboard store. Music store. There's that store again. Will this kill me? Oh, we got teleported. Thought we were gonna die there for a moment, chat. Hold on, I have a brilliant idea. Yes, I need 50 of them. That's 1651. I want to see if we can get a sooner boarding pass. 1535, that sounds good. We're taking it. All right, chat, we just need to find our gate. This is truly the airport experience, walking around like a dumbass trying to find your gate. Broom? At least we can go fast. Hmm. Did we pass the gate? Is there a gate on this floor? I think I have to go one more down. Can I just jump down? Can I make it? No! Nah! I just barely missed. I travel on Friday looking forward to the experience. I mean, airports really aren't too bad. It's just like, it's just a little annoying. Okay, what is that? 1547. That's not my flight. Chad, if we never find our flight, we have to live here forever. 1556. Chad. It's a cat! Look! It's a cat! He's a cute kitty! Hey, have you met a bear wearing elf ears? Not that I can recall. Shut up. I don't care. I want you to cocoon this man in paint. Just absolutely mess him up. Destroy this bear's day. You don't even need to tell me you did it. I prefer the quiet knowledge that somewhere, somehow, my rival is probably being mildly inconvenienced. Why am I doing this? I said a joke at a party, and there were a couple chuckles. Two minutes later, the bear tells the same joke, brings down the house. He applied for the same art grant, we both got it. But he looked a little smug when he accepted it, like he deserved it slightly more than me, even though it was the exact same award. I despise this bear, he haunts my every waking hour with mild irritation. Make him pay. Okay, I'm taking the paint, geez, finally! We could have just been done with this a minute ago, jerk. 
Okay, Jesus. Jesus, cat. I just, I just want to find my flight. Maddie, what did you do? Yeah, what did Maddie do? Is that my flight that I passed by earlier? No, 1625. Spray the cat? No, I can never spray the cat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt the kitty. That's the time zone. Well, it would, it would help if I could find my fucking flight. 1547. 1535. Okay, I think we have to go down another one. Can you pat the cat? Shit, I forgot to do that. One moment. Uh, no cat sound effect. Weak game. Weak. How could you forget the cat sound effect? 1552. That's not it. Let's see. 1735. That is still not my flight. Hmm. They should just call this game being lost at an airport simulator. Did I somehow miss it? Hmm. Is there any point in jumping down there? Damn it, I missed. Alright, give me. Do you, do you have a seven? There's 1735. We know where that flight is. Yes, Guko, that is, that is exactly what I just did. I think it's one floor below that has the time zone, so we can use that to skip time a bit. We zoom in. The time zone was on this floor, right? I'm not crazy. Am I? I could be crazy. Alright, chat, we're we're literally watching time fly by. Do 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 All right, 1735, there it is. Pill dog, what the fuck? Hey, hey, I have a deeply unfortunate name. Let me make this very clear up front. However, the plane does have a restocking medical and pill form. Wait, needs a restocking of medical supplies and pill form before we can take some. I don't have any pills. Swing by the nearest medical clinic. Doctor should be able to help you. Ah, shit, Chad, I can't believe I'm supplying a dog with drugs right now. I think it's just faster to jump off than trying to take one of the elevators. I think the medical thing if was on the floor below us. That yeah, seems about right. Debating about ordering food for dinner. Cause I don't really feel like cooking chat. But I'm very hungry. Maybe, maybe Indian food would be good. I could go for some curry. Wasn't it on this floor? Am I crazy? Or is it down another floor? That's oh, right there. Alright, doctor, hook me up with some pills. Oh, hey, I'm a dog. If you're horribly injured, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already have this. Um, love it when dogs give me medical attention. Can I get some medicine? Sure thing. How sick are you feeling? Scale to one to eight extremely large bottles of pills. Um, just one sick. Thanks. Here you go, man. Hope it helps. All right, chat. We found the pills. Was that my flight? 1735. I think it's down one more. Yeah, this looks right. And 
There we go. I have I have your pills, pill dog. Thank you. You have my approval to board. The medicine should restock our emergency supplies for the next while easily. Maybe we could share some. Chat, I think that I think that dog's on drugs. Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass. Here you go. Make sure you have supplied whatever my associate needs, and please have a wonderful flight. Alright, chat, wonder what, what kind of place it's gonna send us next. Sleepy pup, look at him! You must pet him. It's important to pet him. Uh, how are you? I'm sleeping. How are we talking? Mm, not talking. I'm sleep talking. It's like sleepwalking, but I do it on purpose so people can tell I'm sleeping. So you spend all of your time telling people you're sleeping instead of sleeping. It's hard work, but it has to happen. So when when do you sleep? I sleep all the time, man. This is my single passion. But you tell people you're sleeping all the time when you are actually unconscious. I am going to have to think about that. Maybe I'll even sleep on it. Yeah, he's really he's really killing me with these jokes. I can't I can't handle them. We are we are at a new airport. Well, if we see a bear, we're gonna spray paint him. 2226. Nevada. I guess we are in Nevada now. Well, I am gonna take a second to actually order myself food, though. Just so I have something to eat for dinner. Need a boarding pass to snark your anus? Yes, I need 50 of them. I'm sure you do, buddy. Enjoy your flight. Thank you, sir. Moment. I'm gonna order some wonderful, delicious curry. Oh, that's a new curry place I haven't tried yet. I'm very tempted. Please, DoorDash, don't do this to me. Let's see. Da da da, where's the tikka masala? Very, very important that I find this. Not specifying which one's the tikka masala. Oh, there's the tikka masala. There you go, we'll do that one. Um, how hot do I want it? Well, it's probably, like, not that hot, so I'm probably just- I'm gonna say hot. I like spicy food. Or maybe I should do medium, just in case it's really spicy. Uh, I'll do hot. Alright, got that. And then we need some garlic naan. Very, very important that I get the garlic naan. Pika masala tends to be mild. Yeah, it tends to be pretty mild, so hot probably isn't that hot. Oh, I'm so excited for this food. I love Indian food. No, is it closed? Did I miss my chance, mother? Fucker! Why? Why? Oh, they're closed on Mondays. Fuck! <sighs> it's okay. There's a- I'll, I'll just order from my usual Indian restaurant. I just wanted to try something new, because, like, this Indian restaurant I usually order from is not bad, but it's not, like, the best Indian food I've had. Unless they're closed to day two. If they're closed to day two, then I'm gonna give up on life. Nope, they're open.
Yoink. Delicious garlic naan. There we go, chat. I'm getting my Indian food after all. Sorry to order this on stream. I just, like, I'm really hungry. I have not had anything to eat today since, like, noon. And it's, like, seven. Alright, my food should be ordered. Both make really good food. Oh, that sounds good. Alright, what time is it? 20... Okay, we'll take the 2330, because there's probably going to be a lot of repeat stores here again. I'm sitting on my legs funny. Alright, where are we going? Hmm... That's the bartender again. That's a hat store. We've already been in there. Probably been in that store. There's Photo Dog. Okay, we are familiar with all these shops. Oh, Safety Dog, I have something for you. If you find anything sweet reward, what will you turn into? I have something to turn in. Awesome, let me take a look, you sly dog. Enjoy your reward. Come back anytime. Uh, I was hoping you would say something special for bringing him a missile. Instruction dog. Sir, I'm a dog with a simple dream. I want to get behind that daggone waterfall. I have basic construction equipment. I have some rickety safety barriers. I've got can-do attitude and the ability to speed away from anyone who asks me for a permit. I am prepared for industrial engineering. Will you join me in my quest to find out what the heck is behind that waterfall? Like a cool person? You know, I'm in. I didn't know which is why I asked. You'd be surprised how many folks are not cool with the incredibly rad, unregulated construction projects. Tell me more about this construction project. We need the lumber. I've got scaffolding equipment, but we still need the core building materials. You bring me some planks and we'll be in business. Come back when I have a lumber source. Well, chat, we need to, we need to find some wood for construction dog. There's some things over down that way. <gasps> Look, it's another cat! It's a furious artist. Can you believe that can got... Wait, blah blah blah. Can you believe that you can get banned from a gallery just for destroying the other artwork? Charlatans! Charlatans and cheats are all mindless hacks. The destruction is the art. It doesn't sound like there's a way I can help. The dogs are letting me back into another event, like fools, which means I have an opportunity to exact my revenge. I'm going to become stinky. Excuse me? I need to transform into something so stinky that my hygiene overshadows the, overshadows the entire event. If I pull this off, I will watch someone vomit and I will like it. Our transformation requires help, unfortunately, which is why we're talking. How am I supposed to make you stinky? Well, you could throw something filthy at me, like your dreams of a quiet suburban life. It might not cause enough of a stink to get revenge on any dog critics, but the thought would make me sick. You don't, you don't have to make fun of me for wanting, wanting quiet suburban life. I can't believe the cat just shamed me. How do you get over there? Oh, they're shuttles. Alright, chat, we have to wait for our shuttle. Let's see. Do I have a ticket? I do. 2330. Cats can be mean sometimes. Sometimes cats can be a little mean. How long is this shuttle gonna take? Re! Now, I probably should have looked up how long this game was. It looks like it's gonna go pretty- like, I, want, I wonder if there's, like, a story at the end or something. I'm very curious.
Is, is the shuttle coming? It is. Very, very slowly, but it's coming. Shuttle Chan! Come on! Alright. We are, we are on the shuttle. At least we can, like, vibe to the music. And I really hope my gate is over here. I have a feeling we're gonna get to the gate and he's gonna be like, I need something from the mainland and we're gonna have to go back. That is, that is my prediction, chat. There's a meat store. There's missiles again. Where are the gates? There are no gates here? Have I been tricked? Aha, there is a gate back here. 556, that's not my thing. Oh god, this is literally hell now. Now we have to wait. We okay, wait, I can go over here. Maybe maybe there will be a gate over this way. Dogs are always so needy, they are really needy. They keep asking more me for things. Let's see. What is... Okay. Where where are the gates? Is this the start? Did I literally walk back to the start? Ted, I think I walked back to the start. I think I did a loop. I think that shuttle was a trick and it was all a loop. Willy Donka. Well, hello, I am Willy Daka, purveyor of sweet treats, emissary of adventure, and sinner of sins. I, I, what was the last one? Do you want a golden ticket to adventure? Is it made of real gold? Yes, it is wildly expensive. I shouldn't be giving them out so often, but I am so lonely all the time it leads to variety of poor choices. What do your tickets actually do? They're golden tickets! You can use them for gold stuff, but not ticket stuff. Make sure we take a special trip together. I always hear that it grants access to an exclusive airport lounge that I have not attempted to visit due to horrific social anxiety. I'd like a golden ticket. Behold, a golden ticket. Please take care of it. Wait, what do you mean by flying together? Uh, well, you see, I'm very slightly altered your reality with money. The next time you board a plane, I'll be there. I'll be there. Tell me- tell me what that means, Willy Daka. Haha, <laughs> okay, awesome, good conversation, no more questions now, haha. <laughs> that I'm concerned. I am extremely concerned. I have, I have no idea what that means. I'm very- I'm- chat, I'm- I'm concerned for my well-being. 110. It's not my flight still. 621! That is still not my flight. At 1756. That's still not my flight. God, chat, we're gonna we're gonna die here. If I don't find my flight soon, we are never gonna make it out of here. I mean, I used to have really bad social anxiety, but I kind of have like, not like, like it's just I've, I've I've improved it with time. Like I don't really have social anxiety anymore. I just have generalized anxiety. That goes back that way. This music, Joe? Yes, we do. We do have pretty good music. Now this loops us back around. We're gonna we're gonna take the tram and then do a loop and see if we can find it. If not, I am just going to go get a ticket for a pl flight where I know where it is. All 
Right, off we go. Surely, chat, we will find our flight soon. Why are these airports always so confusing to follow, though? Two eighteen. Having hot meat soup with some bread. Oh, that sounds good. Don't make me hungry. Twenty-three thirty. This is my flight. I swear, every game I see you play, it gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> what do you What do you mean, Alex? This is a totally normal game. Administrator dog. No, just no. I'm tired, I'm filled with Inui, and you can't get me fired up with the love of a very concept of life. I don't care if you miss your flight. I just can't today, man. My apologies. Um, I'll find a way to get you fired up one moment. What does he mean? Does money do it for you? How am I supposed to change that? I don't know, throw a tennis ball at me or something. Surprise me, make me feel exuberant, dog gun it. All right, we need to, we need to, we need to find balls. That's the orb shop. That's hat shop. I think the balls are this way. Excuse me, I am, I am on a mission to find some balls. Are those PNG assets of dogs instead of models? Yes, they are just dog PNGs. Aren't they beautiful? Did you not get a ball before? Oh, I do have a tennis ball on me. I totally forgot. Hold on, sir. I have just the thing. Here is your tennis ball. I'm still bored and tired. What the heck, man? Am I supposed to change that? How? I have a tennis ball! Still trying to get you fired up. Do you want a beach ball? Salami? Make me feel exuberant. Well, I, I can't throw it, is the thing. Does a gun make you feel good? Nope, he doesn't want the gun. Hmm. One moment, I have to mute because emergency vehicles. I just didn't want to blow out your guy's eardrum. What does he want? Am I am I actually gonna have to look up a guide for this game? Am I am I legitimately gonna have maybe you need some toilet paper? Oh, you know? Here's some toilet paper. Make me feel exuberant. Does he want coffee? Well, there's a coffee shop right there. Let me let me go get some coffee and see if coffee does it for him. Or maybe some shoes. Alright, give me... Explain title? Never. Is there even a guide for this game? I don't know. Alright, let's grab some shoes. Pair of shoes. I'll take the good stuff then. All right. Not today. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to eat here either. All right. Give me the shoes. All right. We have coffee and we have shoes. Maybe one of these the dog will want. Hmm. There is our flight. Look, man. Does this coffee do it for you? What do you want from me, dog? Oh my god, I literally am gonna have to look up a fucking guide for this game. I can't believe I'm actually gonna have. Is there. <laughs> is there 
Please, God, tell me there's a guide. Um, those are maps. What the fuck? Let's see. Is it back scene to say go do things? What do you, what do you mean, honk? It depends. Like, if anyone actually has played this game and knows what I need to do for the dog, you can tell me. God. I can't believe- well, okay, one moment. Airport dog, what does administrator dog want? I can't believe I'm googling this. I just got a bunch of pages from the TSA. What does he want from me? Do you want this? This is literally on fire. Chat, I have no idea what to give them. Does anyone have any guesses or suggestion? Well, I tried I tried showing him a tennis ball, but he didn't want it. Maybe a cabinet will do it for him? I'll take exactly one comment. Okay, cabinet, not comment. You know what I mean. Okay, can you... Stop! I didn't mean to come in here! Okay, stop. Alright, we have a cabinet. Google's being like, what the hell did you search? Yeah, Google's probably very confused. I wonder if we... Okay, one moment. I have, I have a big brain idea. If we get on a different flight, is it, is it going to be a different dog? And thank you for shouting out Lex. I totally forgot to ask. Checking the Steam community page. If you find anything, let me know. This is a different dog, okay? This is Passport Dog. I can do Passport Dog. Okay, is there one for 013? Hold up, let me, let me... Yes, I need 50 of them. That's seven, that's six, eight. Seven, six, five. Those are all okay. None of these are the ones that I need. I need fifty more. I need fifty more. He's not- he's not giving me it! Hold on, I'm asking a different ticket, dog. Aha! Found it. Okay. Alright, now we just need to find photo dog and go get our photo taken. And Photo Dog will probably ask for something, but now we have we actually have a quest we can complete because I have no idea what the fuck the administrator dog wants. Ha! Here is Photo Dog. Whoa, you look incredible. He needs a briefcase. Okay, I will I will stop. I will go get you a briefcase. 
Facebook chat. I am committed to seeing the ending of this game. I'm very, very curious where this goes. Is that a... that's an album store. That's not a briefcase store. Oh, briefcases are right there. Look, chat, easy. Is stream poppy for anyone else? Dream goes burr. Why OBS? You stabilizing, bro? Ah. 